Today we're looking at the STP Extended Life oil filter, specifically what it looks like on the inside after roughly one year and 10,000 miles. Have the parts held up very well? What do all the components look like and that sort of thing? And we'll compare it to an unused STP Extended Life oil filter just so you can see what it looks like brand new and what it looks like after roughly 10,000 miles. So let me get everything spread out here on the bench and we'll go over the details. Some quick specs before we go into the details of what it looks like after 10,000 miles. This you can run conventional or synthetic motor oil. It's good up to 10,000 miles, 99% efficiency above 20 microns. As you can tell, we also have metal end caps and the center tube is metal as well. With your lower costing oil filters, you'll find cardboard end caps and also a plastic center tube. So certainly higher quality in that sense which you would expect. This filter goes for around nine or ten dollars if you buy it standalone. A lot of times you find them on sale if you also purchase uh, five quarts of such and such motor oil like Mobile One or Pennzoil, that sort of thing. But standalone, it's around nine or ten dollars. So it's up there with Wix XP, uh, K&N and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't believe this is wire backed. Uh, if you have seen our previous oil filter review videos, the higher costing filters, again uh, your Amsoil, Wix XP, uh, Royal Purple, they're wire back, uh, but we will cut open the filter at a later time and we'll take some measurements regarding the square inches of surface area. But now let's go over what this looks like after 10,000 miles. Right here is your anti-drain back valve. Now the whole point behind this little sucker is when you turn off your vehicle, instead of all the motor oil draining back into the oil filter, this allows some oil to uh, be retained in the motor. So the next time you start your vehicle, you don't have a dry startup. Now there are really two components that, or two materials that you see on oil filters, rubber or silicone. Rubber is cheaper, silicone is more expensive. This happens to be silicone, and silicone has uh, withstands much better regarding very cold and very hot temperatures. For example, this can withstand uh, down to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a superior material uh, compared to rubber. And as you can see, after 10,000 miles, here's an unused one. It looks essentially brand new. You can really use it again. Uh, obviously, you would not, but it just looks to be in very, very good shape. Regarding the filter element itself, your spacing is very, very good. Uh, on, on your cheaper oil filter, you'll find large gaps, but as you can see, the spacing is very good. This is a synthetic material as opposed to cellulose. Cellulose you find on cheaper oil filters, synthetic on your higher costing oil filters. Regarding the filter itself, the media, it, as you can see, it's not degrading, it's not cracked, it's not falling apart, it's not crumbling. It's in very, very good shape, so it's a very, very good sign. Now on top of the filter right here, as you can see, I'm pressing in this component and this is a bypass spring uh, pretty much every filter out today has this kind of spring built into it or sometimes it's a, a separate material on top but the whole point behind this is if you do run these any filter too long and it starts to clog up what happens is this little sucker up here would open as you can see it's a valve and then it allows motor oil to keep on flowing to the motor so it's a safety feature and as you can see it still works perfectly fine even if you compare it to the brand new one so that's in good shape this just keeps everything really snug that's the whole point behind this and then coming over to the end here we have the cap itself now one thing I do plan on doing very soon is uploading a spreadsheet to carsandtoys.net and on that spreadsheet you'll find this filter among Mobile One, Amsoil, Royal Purple, Wix XP, K&N that sort of thing and you'll see the measurements in other words the square inches of the surface area, uh, the number of pleats in the filter, is a synthetic or cellulose, is a wire back, that sort of thing, and I will weigh the cap, so I will have that up pretty soon. And then lastly, coming to the gasket, high quality gasket, you know, this is one thing oil filters do pretty well among all of them. Uh, just make sure you always put a little dab of clean motor oil when you install the new filter. Also make sure this comes out when you remove the old filter. If, if this stays on the vehicle, when you install the new filter, you will have a leak. So just make sure the old gasket comes off with the filter. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of what you can expect from the STP Extended Life oil filter. Again, these are often on sale. For example, I know AutoZone has them on sale a lot. 
they also purchase five quarts of Mobile One or Pennzoil Platinum and that sort of thing. And they just include it for under like 30 bucks with the filter and the, and the, and the synthetic motor oil. But again, a lot of people don't know much about these, so I figured let me at least cut it open and just show you what the components are. After 10,000 miles, to me it looks to be in very, very good shape. Again, the only downside is, as far as I could tell, it's not wire backed. But, uh, but we'll find out shortly when I cut open this guy and take a couple measurements and that sort of thing. So, again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.